Welcome to A Poor Millionaire with Curtis and I'm Katie Day. And today we're going to talk about how to become a millionaire and also how to buy a yacht and fill that yacht with girls or your friends. That sounds like a lot of fun. I could be into that. Off, let's talk about Curtis's success story specifically. Where did you start, Curtis? Where did I start? Well, I The first place to start to become a millionaire is you've got to build a business. And this is going to take three to five years of hard work. You've got to start your own company, your own business. I started with a computer wholesale business. My recommendation would be to start with any business that has growth potential that you know something about, like plumbing company, a roofing company, a construction company, basically any service uh, or technical professional job you can turn it into a small business and make a lot of money off of it and after you had that success with the first company how did you go on to grow your wealth from there oh uh, well if you want long-term wealth you're gonna have to invest the money that you make so first to be, you become a millionaire with your small business um, which is fairly easy to do and then the second part of that is you're gonna have to invest that money either in the stock market or real estate I would personally recommend real estate because real estate has is the easiest investment for long-term growth. Uh, it will produce the, uh, you get, if you rent out rent houses, you get the rental income, then you also get the uh, appreciation of the asset. Uh, it is, a, it just goes up. It'll make you a multimillionaire. Real estate has made me a, uh, small business made me a millionaire, but real estate made me a multimillionaire because oh, every year you get richer. So uh, for others to emulate that, they just need to start a, a small company at first and then establish wealth in other areas like the stock market or real estate. And then where did you get the idea to go to the lake and, and get a boat? Where did that originate from? Well, I mean, I've, al I've, I've always liked the water, but uh, I, I tested it out. I tested out a couple things when I was looking for a hobby. Everybody's got a hobby. Everybody's got you either golf or you ride motorcycles or you go shooting at the gun range. Everybody has a hobby. Um, I tested a couple hobbies, and one of the hobbies I tested was motorcycle. I bought a motorcycle, uh, and I uh, tried that for a couple of weeks. I didn't like that. And then I tried a, a jet boat, and I enjoyed that. It was, it was fun, exciting. Uh, also, whenever I invited uh, girls to come out, they always showed up, and they always brought friends, and I said, hey, I'm on to something. That sounds like a lot of fun. It, it, well, you know you've been out. I love the lake. Definitely sunshine, water. It's, it's my favorite. I literally live for summer. Um, what do you do now to maintain and, and grow from where you are? Uh, well, real estate is the number one best way to grow your income and your wealth. But uh, you can also start other uh, businesses that are more expensive and more that build up, have greater exponential growth. But uh, that's that's the keys to success. So if you want, if you're start, but this, a lot of guys have been asking me on TikTok. They've been asking me on YouTube, how do I become a millionaire? How do I buy my own yacht? Well, the best way to buy, become a millionaire, buy your own yacht, is you start a business. That is, the, the, it's the easiest way to have very, very little money and go from very, very little money to a millionaire. Wow, that's amazing. Um, are you ready to announce our winner from last week's contest or last video's contest? We will announce that video, that winner now. We're gonna go ahead and do the drawing. Uh, it'll be rolling, 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 and the winner is. Woo, yay! Congratulations, only contact us on email as usual. You contact us on anything else about winning and we will not reply. Uh, I check the email every other day. I don't check it every day just because it's like, you know, I can't, I got a lot of things. I got a lot of the emails to check, so. Well, congratulations and make sure you like, subscribe and comment to enter our next winning on this video below. All right, well, I kind of already know the answer to this question, um, but just for our viewers, how is it that you always have so many girls out on your boat? Uh, well, this is part of being successful. Uh, basically, over time, um, and this is the, any. If you want to do anything that's that's difficult, it just takes time. You got to build up. You can't start day one. Day one, uh, there are obviously there are the exceptions. There's always a day one, the one guy who comes out to lake and and instantly has a, a ready set friend list. But the thing is, is whenever you're going into a new venture, you've got to build. You have to start somewhere. So when I first started going out to the lake about five years ago, uh, basically I just invited anyone out on my boat. Uh, and I had my boat was much wasn't as, as pretty as the boat that I have now. Um, and then basically from there, I kept inviting, inviting, and inviting and basically building my friendship, building my friend list. And all these girls that come out, they're all friends of mine. They're all... I, yeah, that's that's one of the keys to success on um, this success 
on this this way of doing things this is a little bit off our, what, what we normally talk about on a this finance channel but it's based around success guys you have to figure out where you are and where you want to be and I decided that I wanted to have uh, 20 to 30 girls on my boat all the time in order to do that I needed girls to invite girls and girls to come out and basically one of the thing one of the, the keys to success here is invite invite everybody that you know and then then make friends with everyone and don't upset anyone make sure everybody has a good time and then tell them to come back and invite their friends and you just do that over and over and over without upsetting girls because if you go if the and some some yacht owners will buy a yacht they'll invite four or five of their girlfriends out their friends that are girls they come out on the yacht and then the guy immediately spends the whole day um, on top of them, you know, uh, harassing them or just being or getting drunk and getting belligerent or just doing anything that would not be a fun time. And the girl's like, oh, I never want to come back. Well, you've just lost your opportunity for her to come back. You've lost the opportunity for her to invite her friends. It's so much fun going out right. there. And Katie's been out. You know what? I'm going to reverse this, reverse this because Katie's come out a whole bunch. Why do you come out on my boat? I love the water. I love swimming. You get a tan. It's like good, clean summer fun. And everybody on the boat is literally a good friend of mine or my little sister. So I even have like family fun going out. It's a uh, it's well it builds because you've got basically so much fun. basically all these girls are friends with other girls that they meet on the boat they make new friends and then suddenly it's a whole friend group that all comes out to the lake and it's same like time. a lake squad it's the best right it's a lake squad so you just build and build and build and build mm -hmm. and the girls are super comfortable coming out uh, they know that I don't that's the one thing is I don't drink on my boat uh, a lot of boat owners do drink so my boat's gonna be the safest. Um, I have all the life jackets, all, all the, the snacks. <laughs> all you know, I keep snacks on board. Um, I I don't I do not supply drugs. I do not supply alcohol. Um, they bring their own alcohol, and I have a no drug policy. But obviously, every once in a while, some crazy person sneaks something in. They usually but, don't come back though. Yeah, exactly. For the most part, though, um, it's it's it is a safe, fun environment for people to hang out, and that increases the likelihood that they're going to come back. Because they had fun, it was safe. They real—I wasn't drunk. I wasn't driving the boat stupid. I wasn't yelling at anybody. Uh, normally, we uh, all have a good time and go for a dance party on the boat. Exactly. And oh, and uh, one of the one of the keys to having uh, of people having a good time is music, guys. Um, having a good sound system is essential to making sure that everybody has a good time. And basically, when you're on a boat, when I'm on my boat, I'm not only am I the boat captain, I'm also the DJ, I'm also the party coordinator, I'm also the counselor, I'm the guy they're crying, they come crying to when they get broken up with their boyfriend. Uh, <laughs> it's 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 a lot of work, but it's fun because you know you know it my, could be a reality TV show. Honestly, it, well, actually, we're gonna probably do it. We're actually we are going to do a YouTube channel. And obviously, if you're on my TikTok, which is right here, you can see. Uh, what we did last summer and then next summer we're gonna have uh, or this coming summer uh, as long as corona doesn't uh, affect it too much we're gonna have uh, it's gonna be unbelievable uh, because half of the stuff that, that we shot last year uh, was a race because I don't keep my snaps so we're gonna have tons of amazing TikToks. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun and you're gonna learn how you're gonna see all these girls that come out again and again and they have safe fun like I said I don't drink when I'm out on the lake that's for safety purposes. Um, plus, it's just, it's like work, guys. It's, it's more fun, honestly. It's its a hobby. You know, it's like, like I said, some people golf, some people ride motorcycles. Uh, my hobby is to buy an expensive boat, put a, a, a $50,000 expensive sound system in it, invite all my friends out. Uh, and tell them to invite all their friends and their friends and their friends. And we all just have a really good time. It's a blast. Right. And then suddenly. And get a tan. Suddenly, you've, well, you need a tan. Look I need you. a tan. It's, were, it's been winter. It's, I wait for summer. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it's right around the corner. I like that natural tan. <laughs> so if you want, because I know there's guys asking me on TikTok. There's guys asking me on YouTube. They're like, hey, how do you, how do you get all these girls out to come out on your boat? Well, what you do is get a nice boat. That's step one. Uh, step two, get a nice sound system. Step three, uh, invite people out and be cool and, and make sure it's a sun, a, a, a safe, fun environment uh, that people want to come hang out. And over time, uh, you're going to make friends with these these uh, girls. And obviously, Katie, right. Day, Katie Day is one of my friends. It's so much fun. She's been coming out for years on my boat. Oh, yeah. And, and she always brings a bunch of girlfriends. So there's always uh, new girls coming out. They and those, always want to go to the lake. Right, and then they'll they'll see her snaps. They'll see her Instagram. They'll see her. That's the other. Uh, that's another thing I forgot to mention. <laughs> I should have should have mentioned this. 
Um, also, social media, guys, you gotta have the social media. You need to, and and that's the the like I said, DJ, a boat captain, counselor, uh, and also I am their photographer. All right, I take a ton of fix, a ton of pictures. I make sure they get really solid, and I have make sure I have an extremely powerful cell phone with the best camera I can get. I take good pictures. I post them. Um, and we do it for the gram. Right. <laughs> they do it for the gram. And I, I make sure and I make sure the girls look good. All right. You take good pictures of them. You don't take bad pictures. Obviously, if there's a bad picture, the girl will tell you, hey, take that picture down. Immediately take it down. It's always to it's like promoting them for the Instagram for the gram. Right. It's so much fun. So all these things are, you know, and, and if you do anything, guys, if you do anything, if you if you say, hey, this is where I'm at and this is where I want to be, you can figure out how to increase your efficiency and obtain your goal. And this is basically how I became a millionaire. I figured out, hey, I want to become a millionaire. What do I need to do? So I started my business and basically I worked at it and I kept changing. I kept trying new things until I got to my goal. My goal was to be a millionaire. Then I wanted to be in real estate. So I bought real estate and I kept messing with that until eventually I mastered that. Then I wanted this, the, my hobby of having a yacht and being on the lake and having 40 girls out there all the time, basically Dan Bazarian. Um, so basically what I did was I, over a five year, took me five years, guys, I started off at zero. You know, when I first came out there with my crappy boat, I wouldn't even go to Party Cove because my boat was so crappy, I was embarrassed. Oh, no way. Right? It's still be fine. I, I literally would drive around Party Cove looking at all the people going, oh, that looks really Everybody's cool. Everybody's welcome at that Party looks Cove. Cool. Yeah, oh, yeah, of course. But at the same time, though, it's like I was just too embarrassed with my, my crappy boat. But I fixed that boat up. Over time, I fixed that boat up. And eventually that boat became so, so incredible that it became a legend just at Party Cove. And that was a crappy boat. I took a $25,000 boat. I put in uh, like a $30,000 sound system. <laughs> it cost crazy. more than the boat, but it sounded unbelievable. I would pull girls off of yachts that were half a million dollars, and they'd come dance on my $25,000 boat with a $30,000 sound system. It's all about the base. Yeah, it's all about the base. I mean, I still have that boat. I'm trying to sell it, so I will put a link down to the, to buy that boat, also some <laughs> pictures of that boat. Uh, that's an amazing boat, that absolute just crazy boat. But I wanted to get an even bigger boat. I wanted a nicer boat. I wanted a lot of more creature comforts and also the bragging rights, right? Um, but either boat is amazing. I'm, in fact, I'm probably gonna take out this summer, if I ha don't have it sold, on Mondays, I'm going to take out my old boat just because it's so much fun, and it's still it's still a really good boat. And on a Monday night, uh, when the sun's setting, it's going to be great pictures for the Graham. Oh, yeah, and it'll look like a completely different boat. Katie Day's been out on my old boat a ton. She I loved love it. the old boat. Yep. It's making it's warm, and it's, it, has, it's, it has sun pads on it that kind of heat you up, too. It's nice. It's so weird. All the girls, they love the new boat, but they're still nostalgic about the old boat. It's, oh, yeah, definitely. We get so much, so many good memories. So I bet you anything when I tell everybody, hey, we're going out on the old boat, everybody's going to come out just to see the old boat. Yeah, definitely. For Why not? For, for nostalgia. Yeah, nostalgia's great. Yeah, so, so guys, this is this is how you you build a business. Uh, you build become a millionaire, how you become a millionaire, multimillionaire in real estate. And then uh, the third step is obviously your hobby. And you can pick any hobby. Uh, it's just like if you pick golf, you're going to buy your golf clubs. You're going to go out and play golf. And you're going to get better over uh, over time if you do constant small improvements. Pay attention to what you did last week and what you need to do. And when you screw up, say, hey, I screwed up. Um, I've made some mistakes out at the lake. And when you do, do the mistake, just say, hey, I'm not going to make that mistake again. You know, And you, like, like getting drunk at the lake, I've made that mistake. Where I've gotten drunk at the lake. And I don't remember any of that. So exactly. I That's it. before her time. Right? But because basically Katie Katie Day is used to coming out there and I'm always sober. Which is super easy. It's super He likes he likes Diet Dr. Pepper. Yeah, I drink way too much of it. She's constantly <laughs> constantly complaining about the Diet Dr. Pepper. Actually it's probably a meme on Lake Louisville. Me with Diet Dr. Pepper because everyone else if it's is it's not a meme, we need to make it one. Right. Everyone else is drinking beer constantly. Anyway, guys, you want to be successful, this is uh, A Poor Millionaire. Uh, make sure you start, like, subscribe, um, and leave a comment down below. We're also doing uh, daily giveaways. We've already done our giveaway today. But uh, if you like, subscribe, comment, uh, you'll be in the giveaway, giveaway for this. We're also going to leave a link to our secondary channel, Disruptive Technology. We're going to be put. We don't have a video out for that one, but it will come out soon. Uh, we're also going to do giveaways on that. So you got two chances to win. Make sure you like, uh, like, and subscribe to both channels, and you got two chances to win twenty dollars. Uh, we're going to try to do at least two or three videos a, a week on each channel. Um, I appreciate you tuning in, and if you stay tuned, we're going to teach you more tricks on how to become rich, um, how to become motivated to get rich, 
And we're also going to have uh, beautiful hosts uh, to interview me or interview other people. we got lots of great, exciting content up. So stay tuned, and we will see you in the future. Thank you so much for watching.